Glioblastoma is the deadliest form of brain cancer. It claimed the lives of Senators John McCain and Ted Kennedy. Now, an experimental drug is being tested on dogs, and it could someday bring hope for people battling the disease. Mola Lenghi explains. You like them here, yes you do. Emily, a 10-year-old Portuguese water dog, is Laura Kaminsky's everything. When Emily was diagnosed with aggressive brain cancer earlier this year, Laura was devastated. I sobbed. I sat in the middle of the exam room at the hospital and sobbed. Emily has glioblastoma and was given just three months to live. It's a tough cancer to treat and options are limited. So Laura enrolled Emily in a new clinical trial at the Virginia Maryland College of Veterinary Medicine at Virginia Tech. And so that gave you hope? Yes, that gave me hope. And, and so I said, yes, I'll do, you know, I'll do anything. A drug is injected directly into the tumor, getting right to the cancer while leaving healthy brain tissue undamaged. We watched the entire treatment in MRI so we can actually watch the drug cover the tumor. And so we know we've achieved the treatment goals of actually targeting all the cancer cells. Researchers say results are so promising, the National Institutes of Health is now helping fund the trial, hoping it can lead to a breakthrough for people. It's been six weeks since Emily's first treatment. She hasn't had a seizure since she was here last time. She's herself. MRIs show her tumor is shrinking. Black spot in the middle here and here, that actually means that the tumor is dying. So that's actually what we actually want to see. I mean, the only way this result could have been better is if it was totally gone. Right. Um, okay. But this is actually really good news. It's not a cure. I knew that going in. But this is the best hope to give her more time. And maybe someday saving people trying to beat this cancer. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Blacksburg, Virginia.